<clears throat> that color and everything that ends up on tape gives you that sound at the end. The other problem is that everybody's in a practice room or playing with a small group or playing with college players. And that never challenges the breadth. But if you had to sit next to me, You're playing like that, you're like, you'd be like, I don't hear sax. Yeah. And they'd be like, well, yeah, you're yeah. not getting on tape. You're not, re you're not printing. Well, I got the mic here that I should be able to just know. They, the excitement of the mic is what causes the sound to have this, the mic, the sound to end up that way. Right. <clears throat> so years passed, man, everything was so bright. People were used to horns being so bright because you had to play so bright to end up on tape because it had a warmth quality and it was genuine to what the sound was, but it was, it pulled back on the harshness. Mm. Digital does the exact opposite. I see. And so the only way now to get that sound is to get so many overtones of lows, mids and highs that the digital process can do something with that. Mm. I've played to tape before and I was too dark. Right. I was, I couldn't get bright enough. I'd have to play different equipment if I was playing to tape. Right. If I was recording with tape. By digital. So, 